I've watched a lot of specials of the English mentalist and hypnotist Darren Brown. He plays mind games on unsuspecting members of the public and convinces them of things untrue. According to Darren, he does not possess any supernatural power. His effects are achieved entirely through magic, suggestion, psychology, misdirection and showmanship. In one special, he actually convinces people to push a person off the edge of a building, killing them. At least, that's what they are led to believe. Just yesterday, I was watching the start of a Joe Rogan Experience podcast where he interviews Darren Brown. Joe Rogan raised the fact that Darren is actually a really good artist and photographer. They showed his Instagram account, as you can see here, with a picture of Darren wearing a hat and hiding part of his face behind an out-of-focus camera, staring at the viewer intently. In a couple of his pictures, he can be seen holding a palette and a paintbrush standing in front of a canvas with an exquisitely painted portrait of someone. In the painting you can see here, he's painted the glorious Stephen Fry actually, obviously referring to the English comedian and actor Stephen Fry. But as I perused Darren's Instagram and continued listening to him on the Joe Rogan podcast, I started to wonder, is it all real? With all the experiences that I've had with Darren Brown with his stage shows and specials, he's always been trying to convince the audience of something. Whether that be that the power of suggestion is a real phenomenon, or whether certain people are more suggestible than others. But it did make me wonder, is this just a big con? Can Darren really paint pictures? Or is this just another one of his, the power of suggestion can be used to fool an entire audience on the internet? They actually believed that I was an artist. In his shows, he's used hackers to break into people's accounts and mobile phones. He's lied and cheated to convince people of things untrue. It really wouldn't surprise me if he's also made up a fake art studio with an associated Instagram account and website, all in the name of a good old mentalism lark. I know, I know, I know, sounds ridiculous, right? But just look at this Instagram picture. He's staring at the audience, wearing a hat, carrying a camera showing the audience that he is actually a photographer. In the picture of the painting, he's standing in front of the canvas, holding a palette and a paintbrush. I mean, is that what an artist would do? Show themselves in front of their work, finishing up the final touches? Or is he just trying to game us into believing that he actually painted that picture? But then you might ask, why would Darren do such a thing? Why would he go to the effort of making up fake accounts to convince the world that he's an up-and-coming professional artist and photographer? Well, first of all, we can't trust him. He's done enough stuff to unsuspecting members of the public that I don't know what to believe anymore. But in this case, he might be trying to make a valid point about the gullibility of people online. In this world of fake news and the like, it's important that we don't let ourselves get conned. There are real-life stories coming out of India, Myanmar and Sri Lanka of late where people have actually been murdered simply because of an alleged event posted on WhatsApp and the like. 29-year-old musician Nilot Pal Das and his friend, 30-year-old Abhijit Nath, were beaten to death by an angry mob because of a fake rumour spread on social media about child kidnapping gangs. Just recently, in a small town in Mexico, 21-year-old Ricardo Flores and his 43-year-old uncle Alberto Flores were burnt alive based entirely on child abduction rumours spread through WhatsApp. Fake online messages led to people's deaths. Whether or not Darren Brown is a real artist or not, the power of mass suggestion is a very real thing. The internet has allowed rumours and fake news to spread uncontrollably. People have been proven to be able to kill other people simply because of an online message or article. Fake ones at that. So are we living in a world where it's easy to convince people of murder? How do we know what is real or not real on the internet? Are people exploiting our innate online gullibility? I think the answer is a resounding yes. We are gullible when we're online, because we can't actually see the other person. When we talk to somebody in the flesh, we can often see through their lies, with perhaps the exception of people like Darren Brown. But knowing that some of us can be inspired to murder, based entirely on online rumours, we have to be careful. We have to question everything that we read or listen to. I'm not sure what can be done about it, but certainly it has become a real problem. Whether Darren Brown is a real artist or not is not really the point of this video. I apologise to Darren if he actually is, but I think he might understand why I might doubt him. He's proven to us time and time again that people are suggestible, especially when it comes to official looking posts on Instagram and a professional looking website. If I'm wrong, please don't sue me for defamation, Darren. Not that you'd be watching this, but it's certainly possible you have an army of staffers keeping tabs on your social media presence. 
And any publicity is good publicity, right? It's funny, if Darren Brown is actually an artist, and he's somehow convinced me that he's not, despite all the evidence, boy, that's some kind of wicked power of reverse suggestion. Anyway, don't believe me, go out and check the sites for yourself. Cheers.